Happy to see you, my dear. You really don't look well. Have you not yet seen a doctor? No, no, it's nothing. You know that I've always had a weak stomach. My nausea will leave me eventually. You wanted to tell me something? We were not able, alas, to stop the clash between the forces of the Alliance and Siora's clan. We arrived at the village and the battlefield too late. The Queen fell. I'm extremely sorry for your loss, Princess. Thank you. My sister survived, fortunately, and we are recovering from this tragedy together. But our clan was extremely weakened by this battle and by recent events. We shall keep a close eye on the Bridge Alliance and their undertakings. Rest assured. You should know that the battle took place in the middle of ancient ruins. The ruins were quite strange. We discovered a fresco that I'm certain was crafted by continental hands. Really? And how ancient are these ruins? Could they date back to the first landings of the Bridge Alliance? They date much farther back than their arrival would explain. My mother and my grandmother have always known them. Siora told me of a legend that spoke of them. 
about a people from the sea that were vanquished there. Do you think it was the Norths? It is not our custom to found a landlocked settlement. We have our islands and it is enough for us. If they are ancient, perhaps your people once practiced older customs. This story is troubling, but it reminds me of something that I once read in the reports of Lady Morange. You should go and find her. Perhaps she could tell us more about them. Very well. Anything else? I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Ready to excite the crowd. Perfect. That's incredible. Who would ever have believed that our excellent... ...would have risen so so quickly. And now... Yeah! 
champion of the arena. I must say, this is the first time I've ever seen such a young team leader win the title. Allow me to give you this. The prize awarded to champions. Thank you. I need to get going. Huh. A pity. Come here, they'll burn me.
This letter mentions a secret camp. Apparently our man was involved in its creation. It also talks about a chest he would have had in the quarters of the Order, here in San Mateus. We may find clues there that will allow us to discover the location of the camp. If this chest exists, there must be a key. It has to be here. Let's continue searching. It's a key. Most likely the key to a chest, with the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's leave and see what this chest contains. Hey, you. Who are you? And what are you doing in Father Claudius's home? De Sade. I'm the legate of the congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home in his absence? My status is the reason why the Mother Cardinal asked me to investigate. She wants to know where Father Claudius might have disappeared to. I offered to go to his home to see if I could find some information, hence why I'm here. Really? Well, I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? How would we know? Perhaps you want us to go find her together. I'm sure she'll be delighted to see how you've been treating the representative of one of her allies. That won't be necessary, but know that I am keeping an eye on you. As you wish. I hope I don't see you again, Father. I doubt this sly, bitter man believed your lies. We should make use of this moment of respite to go visit the quarters of the Order and find the chest there. Let's hope they aren't infested with members of the Inquisition. Thanks to these documents, we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is, and the times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. The Ordo Luminous is fearsome in a fight. If the natives attack the camp, they risk being slaughtered. But given the methods of the Inquisitors, I almost want to give them a hand.
Spike says back. So, did you discover anything? I found some information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp. And I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon. Why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us? Betray you? How so? You're not the ones this so-called legate betrayed. We are. You? I have no commitment to your order. It is with Teleme that we are allied. Your nation, that you are prepared to drag into a war against the natives, with the sole purpose of converting a few of them in your torture camp, even if you have to kill all the others. What are you talking about? Are you saying Claudius managed to complete his great conversion camp project? Don't pretend that you did not know. I did not, but now that I do, I will do everything in my power to continue his work. And the first step will be to eliminate those who would denounce us. The Mother Cardinal focuses too much on politics, when she should be following her faith instead. We will fight these monsters by your side, Onol Menawi. <laughs> Thank you. You don't have to thank me. These men were our enemy. The monsters torturing my people. Even though the Ordo Luminous's actions are atrocious, Teleme must not learn of our involvement in this matter. Our alliance could suffer. Do not worry about it. We won't tell them. And we will make these bodies disappear. Nobody will ever know what happened to them. Except for our Mal, of course. Queen Derdra will be grateful to you for helping us. She might also have a better opinion of us. Our last encounter was a bit tense. You first came in the name of the Moin Shakers, but she'll change her tone after what you've just done. In any case, do not worry about this camp. She will not let our people be imprisoned. She may even ask for your help in destroying it. Perhaps. In the meantime, please give her my regards. Bertir to mad on all Minawi. And thanks again. Yeah, 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 yeah
Over there. Tents. This must be the expedition's camp. A camp here, in the open wind. It was definitely set up by scholars. Signs of combat. They were attacked. By the look of the tents in the campfire, it dates back several days. It seems they were taken prisoner. I don't see any bodies. No weapon leaves this sort of marking. Perhaps they were wielding magic. Yes. It is the art of the Donegada. Gada. One of the Valley Clans was here. Would you know which one? One who fights against the invasion of the peoples from your island. I can be sure of nothing more. Why would they attack scholars? They're not warriors. They come here as conquerors. This is enough. But they were not killed. Warriors would have been. This looks like scientific equipment. This must be the Lost Expedition's campsite. This looks like the journal of a naturalist. There are sketches of flora and fauna. There is no doubt. We are definitely on the trail of the lost expedition. It seems that one of the team kept a distance from the others. Let's see what we can discover. A trail of blood. That cannot be good. Follow it. the isolated camp mentioned in the journal. Everything is in order, but the inhabitants are no longer there. Its position would have allowed them to escape the attack. Isolated. Discreet. Perfect visibility. Great choice. Clothes cannot be mistaken. It is a scholar of the Bridge Alliance. From the looks of him, I would say he's been dead for days, as we already thought. This isn't the woman whose journal we found. There is still a chance that she remains alive. This man traded his life for all the suffering of my people. It was only a scholar, a sage, not a warrior on the battlefield. Do you think my people see a difference when bridgemen steal our people from their beds? From who do you think? All the clans hide dead children. This man was unarmed. And from the position of his body, I would say he was fleeing. It is not honor that motivates them. Maybe it was vengeance. I'll search the body. We might find something to help us understand. It is a journal. 
That of a woman from the expedition, a certain Afra. She speaks of their research and relates here that she felt watched. She feared an attack was brewing. I believe she was right. The writing stops mid-sentence. A woman with sharp eyes. They might have saved her life. We must follow the tracks of the attack. They will certainly lead us to our party of intrepid scientists. This woman was right to fear the Donea Exregal. They must have followed this path coming from the swamp. This is where we should go if we want to find these lion scholars. Look, those are islanders. They might be from the clan that attacked the Bridger camp. That's possible. Rinaise! We won't let you take us. We will not kneel down without a fight. Wait. We have no desire to fight you. We only want to find the Lion Sages. They are not warriors, but their chief is ready to send an army of warriors to liberate them. If you help us bring them back, you will save your tribe from a costly battle in lives. He speaks truly. Look, one of them is already eager to bring lion warriors back to us. All we wanted was for them to tell us where our brothers are being kept. What good is this if we must leave our camp behind? Very well. Stay away from the main entrance. Our guards will not welcome your arrival. Pass around. There is a smaller entrance hidden there. The lions are kept in a home in ruins. There must be a key somewhere to open the door, but I know not where it is kept. What is your intended purpose? We were sent to look for you. Apologies, but allow me to express my doubts. Well, after this little swim, you could always try to pull the trigger. Who sent you to find me? Well, we were not looking for you in particular, but the entire expedition. It was Governor Burham who asked us to find you. He's worried about you. You haven't been reporting. You should have said that straight away. I must admit, I was hoping for a rescue of a different nature. Do you have a name? De Sade. I'm from the congregation. Hmm, the new governor's cousin. Who wears an islander face? 
I've heard stories about you. And them? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnid. From the people that your own capture and torture. I've never taken anyone. On the contrary, we had hoped to exchange our knowledge with your own. Kurt. Simply Kurt. I protect our excellencies back. And if one of your violent fits overcomes you, rescue party or not, I will kill you. This is a rather odd group. I am Afra, a scholar from the Bridge Alliance. It is rather rare to find me rolling in the marshes. I study the fauna and flora of this isle. I should imagine you have many questions. We saw the site where you were attacked. What exactly happened? We were taken by surprise. One moment everything was calm, and the next a war party of natives fell upon us. I had an uneasy feeling and kept myself apart, but when I heard my fellow scholars shout, I rushed over. Most of my companions are incapable of defending themselves, and we didn't have guards to protect us. One of them tried to flee, but they brought him down. We decided to give ourselves up to avoid a massacre. What has happened since the attack? How long have you been in these marshes? We were taken prisoner and were brought to a village nearby. I was able to escape while the others were taken to a house that they use as a prison. I wanted to join the Bridge Alliance frontier post not far from here, but I wasn't able. So I doubled back to keep watch of the village from a distance. I have been hoping to find a way to free my companions without any success so far. Have you made progress in your search for a cure? Hmm. We were studying some quite remarkable plants when we were attacked. The region is rife in unknown and novel species. Some seem incredibly promising. The local shamans know all these plants and they use them in their remedies. If only we had been able to converse with them rather than getting ourselves captured. Could you lead us to the village where your colleagues are being held prisoner? Certainly. We are, oh, so very close. And I fully intend to participate in this rescue. I'm not one to sit around and twiddle thumbs. This is where the natives took your colleagues? Yes, it is here. These ruins are being used as a camp by the native raiders. There are so many of them. Better to remain discreet. I have spied on the camp and discovered where my colleagues are being held. They are being kept in the old walls of the main ruin.
would rather avoid unwarranted deaths. We should wait until nightfall and look around the camp to find a more discreet way to get inside. fled as they were about to lock my companions inside a cell. We're going to need a key. Please, Honor Manawi, let's try to avoid a fight. Is that you? Come quickly. We don't have much time. Thank you for your help. Do not thank me yet. We are still in a shipload of danger.
Trakarid, mercy! You have defeated us. Spare us our lives. If you spare them, they will only hunt us down until we are all dead. No, you have our word. We have been bested. We will let you move on in peace. How can we trust you? You attacked our camp when we were not even armed. They are savages. They had us caged like beasts. We only sought to learn where you have caged our people. Spare their lives. I beg you. They were only fighting to save the lives of those that have disappeared. Very well. Leave. And I hope you keep your word. Thank you, Ono Manawi. I have spoken and I will honor my words, Kwa Awalamseg. We are no longer in danger. Thank you for your help, Desade. I must admit, the reasons for my being here are not entirely selfless. Your research to find a remedy against the Malachor could save many lives in our cities as well. You speak like a true man of science. Cut to the point. Then you'll be thrilled. Your heroic efforts to save us from those savages could help. We've made a discovery. Is that right? In that case, we need to speak with Governor Burham immediately. Very well. I'll accompany you. <sighs> Let's be off. Sir Desade, and our expedition. I thank you sincerely for having brought them back, Excellence. You are a providential man. Please, sir. It was you who convinced me and my cousin of the capital importance of their research. A research that has borne fruit, Your Excellency. Truly? This is excellent news. You have found a plant with sufficient properties? Uh, not exactly. Know that during our captivity, an island woman visited the camp. The natives called her Tiena Hak Kadactus and treated her with utmost reverence. I heard them talk about a remedy, a universal remedy, it seemed, that she had concocted. How's that? Liamatur, I did nice them. Huh. Well, I grasped the basic of the local tongue and I am certain to have heard the word yag, remedy. Surprising. But the Tiernahach is very powerful and very wise. It is possible that she did craft such a remedy.